Welcome to the video. The gang is all here. Well, I started the video and it didn't look like it worked. There's no video. So I'll go back over it at some point. But we were into the gemstones. Gemstones. So we'll keep going and we'll just pick up and backtrack later. It's about six necklaces in. I don't know what happened. Anyway, how's everybody doing on a Monday? Purple glass and I don't know what these are. I don't believe these are. This might be a rock. It seems like plastic. Five dollars. So let's see what we've got. Came in yesterday. Okay, there's the clasp. This is nice. Glass beads with golden. Um, the rhinestone as well in there and golden beads. Eight dollars. Blue crystal type beads and seed beads, six dollars. Green and faux pearl, long green um, stone, eight dollars. It's a beautiful green. It's like an emerald green. Unakite. That's a huge piece of unakite. Beautiful. And unakite going on up and either coral or some other red stone or something. I'm not sure. And silver tone spacers. A nice substantial toggle clasp ten dollars praying for one of our viewers who said she's in quarantine because her sister who is vaccinated got COVID and her sister, she spent some time with her sister. So, I don't believe, I mean, we're just going to say some prayers for her. I don't want to say her name, but she was like, keep me in your prayers. So, we'll be praying for all those affected. This thing ain't over. Long Unakite. $8. It just ain't over. I went to the eye doctor today, and there, you know, we're in Texas where the governor said nobody can mandate masks anymore. Look at this. Wow, that is gorgeous. And then it's all, this is some kind of acrylic or something. And this is a tiger eye carved. Never have seen one like this. Ten dollars, and then another agate orange, and then a tiger eye up here. Wow, I think it's over the head. I cannot believe this. Look at this tiger eye. It's gorgeous. Let's set that down gently. So anyway, I went to the eye doctor for my yearly checkup. I schedule things in the summer and um, I had to go a couple months ago because it was a floater but I didn't know and um, you know flashing and then all of a sudden something's you know blurry but anyway this is very different 
what in the world it's vintage crystals nine dollars here's one of them that we missed beautiful clasp gorgeous look at that um, emerald cut maybe ten dollars these the colors of this crystal is stunning I'm just doing the few that we missed um, red glass and golden glass four dollars this is metal dichroic glass with a uh, satin type ribbon three dollars this is two cloisonne beads here and then you have this beautiful crystal cross and the rest is glass five dollars these two are the same they're two different colors a light bluish and a uh, cornflower blue six dollars each I've never met a blue I didn't like this is a gorgeous piece of agate or geode or something and it's smooth finished polished has a couple of agate I believe I get butterflies carved and a nice toggle class I mean nice lobster claw clasp and somebody knew how to do their macrame or whatever eight dollars Jasper with a beautiful crown type setting six dollars it's on a satin type ribbon and the last one is this silver tone necklace and it's kind of the style of a a pearl necklace six dollars That just flashes all kinds of color. Um, hematite with some blue-green stone. Eight dollars. Soda light heart with soda light beads. I believe it says Avon. I had my eyes dilated and it took a while to be able to do anything oh our eyes are so important it is Avon six dollars no markings blue and brown rocks <laughs> Uh, $6. <clears throat> We're in Texas. Nobody's wearing a mask anymore. As far as nobody working in the, the eye doctor's office, none of them wearing one. I wore mine. Some pearls on here. And some black glass or stone of some sort, $7. A 
Oh, is it Tiger Eye? Oh, yes, it is. Tiger Eye with beveled gold tone spacers and faux pearl. Eight dollars. White satiny, very clean, barrel clasp, wire wrap stone, four dollars. Blue and gold stone. That is a gorgeous combination. That's a good lighting right there. Wow. I'm not sure what the blue is. It looks like lapis, but I don't see the pyrite. $12. The pyrite is the gold. I'm sure you know. The gold tone that's in there, fool's gold, that comes along with a lot of lapis. Otherwise, I don't recognize it, but A um, woven cord. I think that these are man made opal light, man made, four dollars. Ink. How is this gonna go? It has several cords and a chain and some um, like blue crystal small and gold tone, $4. Greens, We have a baggie of rhinestone again. A lot of this is friend mail from that very generous viewer. So it's kind of different. You haven't seen it before. This is $9. We're gonna try to have one every time. Um, right now, that's it for the rhinestones until we, we get more boxes, bags, and stuff in. Beautiful Mother of Pearl, $4 with some glass. Bluish crystals, gorgeous, with beveled brown, uh, like a smoky topaz type, $7. Those blues are very, very nice with this Smoky Topaz. I have not seen that combination before. You never get tired of, of the jewelry, do we? Um, this, I believe, is lapis with large stones. I will sell it for $16.16. It is gorgeous. Nice big Chunky light stones and smaller lapis, that deep deepness of the lapis. I'm shocked I'm selling it. Shocked. Okay, here's one like the soda light, but this is a beautiful amethyst heart. Gorgeous, $7. It's not easy to get all these gemstones. There's a lot of competition for them. 
Um, this looks like it's lapis as well. Seven dollars. Nice long strand. Hematite, but they're kind of hollow, so they could be ceramic. I think that's ceramic with blue glass, four dollars. Beautiful blue and black, you know, and they're like ladybugs. All this is glass, it is gorgeous. Black and blue, subliminally, people think you're intelligent if you wear that combination together. Uh, $7. This is nice and long and gorgeous. Now, that, that's old school knowledge, so I don't know if you can Google that and find that out again or not. Somehow I came across that, and I've always liked that color combination. This is nice. Um, $4.00. It's a gold, I mean a gold, uh, it's a blue cross glass with a very nice ribbon. Wow, this is some necklace. You've got a big, like a chandelier piece. Then you have the crowns, two of them. Wait, what's going on? Does this just go down the side? This is on the side. You're wearing this on the side. Bianca, I assume the clasp is in the back. And this is, you're going to wear it like this, or this goes in the back? Oh my word, now... I don't know, but there's your necklace right there. And it's plastic and crystal. Most of it's plastic. This is glass or crystal, the little white ones, clear ones. And then a gray faux pearl. And is that how this goes? Wow. Now that's a statement necklace if I ever saw one. And yeah, somebody that I know would say, that's sexy. One of our jewelry ladies. Whew, I don't know. Let me see. Uh, $9. That'll, that's eye-catching. You know, if you wear that, nobody's going to be having that on. That's something you need to wear to the Academy Awards. <laughs> If you're a J-Lo, what's the deal with this? These people that can't find anybody but their old flames. I mean, is there really that not that many people out there in Hollywood anymore? Goodness gracious. Talking about J-Lo and what's his name. Okay. Yeah, the light is kind of bright. This one. Oh. We've got like some faux turquoise or real, I don't know, probably faux. Tiger eye, six dollars. And a beautiful donut. I haven't ever met a donut I don't like either. <laughs> Stone donut or otherwise. We have a Shipley's here and they were in the same building for Gosh, the last 50 years, I guess. And my aunt and uncle even loved it. They came from Germany in the 70s and loved the donut, 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 and would walk, walked all the way there from our house. Um, it was kind of a straight shot, but still. And um, just last year, they moved to a nice, fancy building, and I was just like, that is so sad. Because that building, that little building, you could walk in there, the same chairs, the same little napkin holders, the same stuck in the 60s, 70s. I loved it. All right, um, $5. These are like crystal or glass. 
These look like rocks up here. This is a rock. A rock. Y'all, how did somebody not want this? So th $3, it's a, uh, you know, vinyl record. I guess I, there's got to be some nostalgic people. It's a bookmark, kind of a 60s, 70s. Now this one, we're not going to have time to do that today because my eyes just, I got to quit staring at stuff. But it looks like it's some nice bracelets and earrings. The picture Jasper, $6. It's small. The um, wraparound, $4. Cloisonne metallic magnet, $4. The tealish glass, beautiful, $4. Stretchy. The big heavy white glass, four dollars stretchy. The blue gold stone with hematite, six dollars stretchy. Glass with the toggle clasp, beautiful glass heart. And, you know, I was just thinking, well, I'll say it later. I don't want people to think that that's what this is. LCG on a clover thing. I don't see any other marks. $4. Um, James Avery. People must know his mark now because I do not get it the way I used to. Things on Shop Goodwill have changed dramatically in the last year. Yeah. They got a clue. Got a clue around there. Oh, now I'm going to have to worry about sets. So maybe I need to look through this first. Because this is going to go with the bracelet. Yeah, I'm going to just wait because I'm going to just wait and try to see. So if there's sets, people can keep their sets. Not very often Billy Bob gets any gold out of uh, the semi-precious stone group. And I rarely, well, I keep a few things, but I'm starting to kind of cut back because I don't have room for them as far as the stones anymore. They are chock full, chock full. And, uh, well, here's another one. No, it's not. That's part of the bracelet. It's got some... Uh, carnelian, the orange agate, it's got some flat pearls, it's got some picture jasper and some light blue, it's got some clear crystal, whoa, it's got a mark. I can't tell what the mark says. So, I don't know. I'm just going to say... It's not 925. It's almost like a... I don't know. I'll show y'all.
I'll just say $8. These little have a dichroic glass insert there, clip on, or some kind of a bread. Four dollars. Hematite. So anyway, that's all I did today. The appointment was at two thirty. Four dollars. They have some rhinestones going around them. These big crystal type four dollars. Laguna. It says Laguna on there. Glass, I believe it's all glass. Maybe, oh, this blue is stone. And maybe, the pearls are rough, $7. Yeah, I'm rubbing a bag that got here yesterday <laughs> on my, teeth anyway I thought I could keep this one I'm not sure yet I think I will for now Oliver's doing good. My bestie walked him out front. It's very hot. It's like 98 degrees. Um, so we just go pop in and out. And in the backyard, I can handle that. I just can't walk him very far because my hip still and my cardiac condition. But he can't go very far anyway. But we want to get him a little more socialized, so I called a former groomer that Olivia would go to to be boarded. The two times I did need her boarded, and then I didn't ever leave again. Uh, this is like a fluorite crystal, $5. And it was this couple. They were my age. They had done this a long time. They're out in the country. And uh, the man was so nice to Olivia. You know, she was on the streets for two and a half years, so she was always terrified of people. It took her a while, but we lived in an apartment, so she was able to get socialized more easily than he is. And um, anyway, the man died last November. I'm not sure if it was COVID or not, but that's when COVID was really bad here. And... Um, so the son is running it along with the mom and I don't know who else, but I called because their ad said, we'll work with your dogs. I forgot what they said, personality type. $4. This is unique. It is a hematite and different. Um, so he's going to go for a bath and his toenails clipped. He's never had a bath. I've never felt well enough to give him one, neither one of us. Um, when he was a baby, he was too young. It was January, and, and he was under three pounds, so we weren't too concerned about bathing him. He didn't have fleas or anything. He didn't need a bath. I think we wiped him down with paper towels when we needed to, like a mom would, you know, clean their pup. But, so I'm hoping, I, I talked to the man, I said he's, he's, you know, he's just very fearful and he barks at anybody he sees and he doesn't, he needs to know that people are like us and we're on his side or whatever. And so he said, sure. 
you know. So that's Thursday morning at 8.30. <laughs> I'm going to hang on to that for now. That's a pretty piece. That's what I mean by the pyrite. I like that when it shows that fool's gold. So this is a pretty little stone. And it's a nice, oh yeah, of course it's a nice necklace. It's Italy. 925 so generally I'm at about ten dollars for a nice necklace and you can use this necklace on something else it's long it's 20 inches ten dollars for some sterling woohoo um, blue roses and rhinestones four dollars clip on tree of life with the blue stones four dollars I think it just needs to get put on different tiger eye stretchy with crystal four dollars rhinestone little flowers five dollars beautiful Dark bluish black glass and plastic here, four dollars. Rhinestone and silver tone pierced, four dollars. Those are nice. Snowflake with glass, four dollars. Had to wait a long time in the eye doctors and I just don't feel well enough to be sitting and sitting and sitting oh that will go with it for you if you get that one you will get your bra the bracelet with that oh man here's another one Opalite, five dollars. It's cold. It's some kind of man-made. I don't know. Stretchy, beautiful yellow, uplifting, flowery, five dollars. Glass. Glass. Purples. Could be some amethyst on here, like that clear one there. Four dollars. Lori, L O R I, dream, amethyst, beveled, adjustable. You can take Lori off. I don't see a mark. Five dollars. The amethyst is stunning. Now this is weird. Because it's supposed to be... The other two were two red ones. Here's a red and green, four dollars. Glass with lamp work, meaning raised, I believe. Glass on there, five dollars. 
These are some really pretty pieces. Um, green stone and kind of um, different silver tone treatment, $4. Beautiful agate and white stone, four dollars. Lever back earrings. I call everything agate, so you know, take it with a grain of salt. Nine two five on the clasp, five dollars. It's got blue stars. This. I think it's soda light stars with opalite. Flattened um, glass and a nice big glass bead. A little bit of stretch, $4. Green glass. These two are stone. I'm pretty sure the pearls are faux. This one might be peeling off. So we'll, these three are stone, $4. Does this also go with that set? My gosh. That'll be somebody's thank you. Um, Tiger Eye, $3. Glass, $4. Unakite, four dollars. Greenstone, three dollars. Unakite, three dollars. Looks like we're missing this one. That's not bad. Um, Unakite. No mark, four dollars. Unakite stretchy, four dollars. And the last one is probably gonna have sterling, 925 clasp, and beautiful stones, five dollars. Alrighty, well, does anything fall? Oh, looky, looky, it fell. Beautiful glass drop earrings, $3. Alrighty, y'all, well, I enjoyed it, I really did. And the way my eyes were, I didn't think we would be able to be doing this. If anyone is interested in your DAR pieces, just let me know. I'm at $5 for all of it. That's a nice red, white, and blue brooch. I'm, an, I'm a member, but I don't go to the meetings. I, I work, so I don't go to their meetings. Garnet. Um, I got my ancestor done it went back when... I had some time on my hands, never mind. Um, it was another long-term illness. Um, I d got into treasure hunting by looking for ancestors, and so my grandfather's side, he got, he hit a wall in Pennsylvania, and that was back when, in the 60s and 70s, when you had no internet, and you went to all the little towns and looked at church records, and there were two ancestors with the same name, Christian. John Christian and his son Christian, and that's where he hit the wall. And so, um, John Christian was the, um, served in the, in the Revolutionary War in Philadelphia County, probably fought at that battle at Germantown, that horrendous winter with Washington at Germantown. Um, he survived it all. But I'm sure he saw quite an amazing, amazing things. My grandfather never knew about that. 
And so I got him recognized and then later through Facebook, another distant cousin who I didn't know, of course, she has all of these um, DAR ancestors and then she got to add him. So that was pretty cool. Anyway, God bless.